Hi viewers, welcome to Homestyle Cooking with me Priya Jasin. Today I'll be showing you how to make a dessert. Sticky date pudding is one of my favourite desserts and I wanted to share the recipe with you as well. It's very simple and it's really nice as well. Without further delay, let's get baking. So first, I've just preheated my oven at 180 degrees and I've also greased a cake pan with butter and some flour. I've also greased another smaller cake pan. It's just for presentation purposes. I've taken 250 grams of dates and I've chopped it up into small pieces. Now I'll be adding this into the bowl. Next to this, I'm adding a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm adding one and a half cup of boiling water. Now while the dates are getting soaked in the hot water, I'm just going to beat some butter and egg with vanilla essence. I'm just going to add one egg at a time and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Using this electric mixer, I'm just going to beat this until it's pale and creamy. Now I'm just going to add one more egg into this. Lastly, I'll be adding raw sugar into the mixture. I'm just going to be using a bigger electric mixer. The one that I was using before was not doing the job as quick as I wanted to. So I'm just going to be using this now. Now as you can see, this is nice, pale and creamy. To this, I'm going to be adding the dates that I had soaked up earlier in hot water. I'm just going to have the whole thing. Just going to mix this gently. Now to this I'll be adding self-rising flour. And I'm going to fold the mixture gently. Now I'm just going to be pouring this mixture into the baking pan. Just tapping it lightly and I'm going to put this in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So while the sticky date pudding is getting baked in the oven, I'm going to make some caramel sauce. For that, the ingredients that is required is 300 ml of thickened cream, which I'm just going to pour into the pan. Now I'm adding some butter, next a cup of raw sugar, you can also use brown sugar but I wouldn't recommend that you use white sugar for this. Next I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So I've added all the ingredients at the same time and I'm just going to let this melt over low flame. Now all the ingredients have melted, I'm just going to be stirring this until it comes to a boil. Now you can see that it's boiling up a bit. After two minutes, I'm just going to turn off the flame because we don't want it to burn. Now the caramel sauce is ready. As you can see that this is the consistency that we need for this sauce. I've just turned off the stuff and we'll wait for the sticky date pudding to be ready. And there you go viewers, this is how you make sticky date pudding. It's a very simple dish as you saw. Please try it and let me know what you think. As I love it, I know you will love it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Homestyle Cooking. For more exciting videos, stay tuned. Until then, this is Priya Jathin signing off.